I'm the road boss. Come back here to Party Road and I'll show you what's up. Yep, and they call me the old man. Gotta spread that wisdom to them, come on. Just wondering what y'all might think about it. Let y'all uh, comment below. Would 
even if you don't follow me on TikTok, is that something you'd like to see on here? Is maybe uh, do some of these shorts, and uh, you know, when I post it to TikTok, also post it to YouTube, so uh, you guys can see it as well, and uh, kind of just being in addition to our normal uh, normal 806 driver stuff, uh, our normal day in the life of that I normally do, you know. So. Uh, I really think I'm going to try to start doing it, and then uh, we'll kind of just see how it goes. But uh, the other than that, whew, we have been busy. It is Thursday, April uh, April 8th, Thursday, April 8th. I've been pulling the, the welfare wagon for the last few days, AKA Hopper Bottom. And uh, me and the boss man swapped out and I, ran, I came over here to Oklahoma today to start running some of these tank loads. We had five loads left as of this morning and I got two of the five done already. And so I got three more to do. I was gonna come back and get that third one loaded tonight and then that time put me two and a half today, two and a half tomorrow. It's 140 miles one way down there. As y'all know, I've talked about this up teen times on previous videos. Um, so, yeah, we're just, we're covered up. And then uh, they called a while ago and uh, put 10 more loads on us. So, so we got 13 more to do. So, boss man is going to come back out tomorrow with the tank. And uh, my cousin, Donnie, is, he's going to come back out with the other tank. So, we got three trucks out here tomorrow. If we all haul two a day, now that's six a day, that's 12 in two days. And as of right now, I think we've got 13 left. So if somebody can do the halves, two of us can do the halves, we'll still be done by a Saturday evening, Saturday night. And we got to have them in there by Sunday. So we're just, uh, man, we're, we are slammed, which I ain't, I ain't complaining. That's a good thing. It's that good old, look good looking old flat top KW. And I know you guys uh, pull up these stop signs here traffic lights. I know y'all can hear my brakes whining, but I took care of that today. We uh, ordered a whole new set of uh, brake drums and shoes for the stain so we can we can get the brakes right. That's all I need to pull up. DOT gonna check me out pulling on the scale or whatever saying that uh, gonna check me because my brakes are squeaking. I don't need that. Wine is leaking while you call it. Drums are real bad on here. They need they, they need to replace the shoes aren't too bad as the drums. So I'm sure there's just not enough surface material there for the shoe to make good contact with and that's why they're whining. Uh, as far as that, we've just been running our butts off. Uh, as far as the family's concerned, family's doing good. Uh, uh, 806 Jr., my son, is a uh, area track meet is uh, next Wednesday on the 14th, so we'll be doing that. And I, Miss 806 and I will be still going to Vegas the 27th, 28th, 29th of this month. And further down the line, I can't remember the dates, look, it's in May. Let's say it's May 21st through 23rd, which will come out here on the 22nd, right here in Woodward. They're having the Red Dirt Showdown, which is a big uh, truck show, and uh, they're gonna have some uh, drag racing, and of course, a lot of show trucks and all that. And I think we're gonna try to come up here and spend a Saturday at it. And I plan on trying to do a vlog of it every day. Kind of my plan down the road is to, I, I kind of want to do like the big rig uh, video guy does. Um, kind of start maybe doing, I don't know, maybe one a month or, especially in times when we're slow working. Uh, where I live there in Memphis at 287 is a high traffic area for trucks. Um, there's a lot of, a lot of cool custom trucks come through there. So I want to get out there on the highway 
you know, go tag along with those trucks and, and, and do like some uh, rolling, rolling CB interviews and whatnot. I think that would be that would be pretty neat to do. So, uh, so we might try to start doing that. But of course, I gotta get more equipment, more camera equipment, and all of that. So, stuff's expensive too, y'all. Especially, hell, we don't make no money off of this or anything. I do it for the fun anyway. And uh, there's not really any money involved, but the camera stuff, man, you start $500 here, $800 there, whatever, for, for decent equipment, man, it adds up. It adds up quick. So, uh, so, but that's what I want to do. I have a bunch of old DJ equipment that I can get rid of, and I'm trying to get rid of it. And as I start selling it, I plan on replacing the DJ equipment with camera equipment. So, so that's basically what we got going on. Uh, it's hot in here. I turned the air conditioner off for a minute. I want y'all to be able to hear me because that vent, where I got my phone mounted there, that vent blows air right on the phone and it, it drowns everything out. So, but. I think this video has been long enough for now. Um, you know, I appreciate everybody watching, and um, I really appreciate all my new, all our, I'm not a my or a me guy, uh, our new subscribers, new subscribers. My dang, my dang dialect or enunciation, where I'm just redneck, y'all. Y'all got, I try to enunciate better. That way y'all can understand me a little better, but I'm just a redneck, I'm sorry. <laughs> but uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, like we always say, uh, keep the shiny side up, put the hammer down, support, whoa, boy that light turned quick. Uh, support your veterans, support your law enforcement, and uh, hell, we'll catch you on the next. 806 driver, Ronnie's transport, we're out.